Hey, it's your boy Blitz. He's back and he's just as pissed off as he's ever been. Why? Because there's been a lot of shit that's going down in the world and it's just as stupid as it was since the last time I posted a video about this. So today I think I'm going to talk about something a little close to home. Okay, I think I'm going to talk about something that just really speaks to me, really gets me right here. And what could I be talking about? Well, <laughs> none other than the goddamn Cincinnati Zoo. This is foaming at the mall. What the fuck is wrong with people? Seriously, this boils down to a lot of different things. And all of you are fucking stupid for not realizing it. There's two sides to the story. There's the mother is at fault for the kid climbing in. The kid is also at fault and the, yeah, all that shit's going down and that's why the gorilla got shot. And then it's though the gorilla was just being evil and destroying and it was gonna kill the kid and oh, you should have seen the horror. You're both wrong, but you're both right. You see, the smallest, the tiniest reason for why the damn gorilla's dead is the gorilla itself. But the gorilla was acting on instinct. Whether it was trying to protect the kid, or mutilate the kid, we don't fucking know. You can just have speculations on either end of the spectrum. I'm a scientist, and I know that that gorilla was going to protect the child from all the other dangers of the world. And all blah 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 blah, sciency sciency, look at my lab coat, don't I just look professional? I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, I happen to know that animals are dangerous and reckless and you know that's why pit bulls and rottweilers they're just they're just naturally evil so that gorilla was going to mutilate that child absolutely tear it limb from limb i know this because i don't know any goddamn thing other than what some paranoid assholes on the internet tell me shut the fuck up both of you shut the fuck up the fucking gorilla was just doing whatever the fuck it was doing in natural instinctive measures it had nothing to do with either or, and you can't fucking prove either one! Shut up! Shut the fuck! What the fuck? Shut up! God damn it! We don't know for sure what the fuck that damn ape was gonna do. We don't know if the gorilla was going to hurt the child or try to protect the child. We will never fucking know because we can't ask the damn animal what was it doing! You can only speculate. And both speculations, while one has more scientific foundation, the other one is just batshit lunacy. So a fucking news article on Yahoo when you were checking your mail told you that a pit bull killed a kid so pit bulls are evil. No, it's the fucking owner. Speaking of owner, that's what takes me back to the parent. Fucking parents. It's, you're, not even, you're not even fucking parental anymore. Parents are not parental. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. I'm going to put that shit on a t-shirt because it's fucking true. I, I can pretty much fucking guarantee that the that the dumbass bitch of a mother was not paying attention to the kid. It probably went something along the lines of this. I just got I can't get the I can't get the right selfie. It's just it's just not working. Oh, maybe if I turn the phone around. No. Oh wait, I have to set some settings. Oh, there we go. Mommy, can I go play with the big monkey? He looks friendly. I don't care, you little shit. Do whatever you want. Mommy's gotta, mommy's gotta fix her hair for this picture so I can post it on Facebook. It was probably something like that. I, I, you, you fucking parents, T today especially, pretty much the the demographic of parents who are under the age of thirty five, I'll say, you don't want to even take care of your kid. Pretty much, you shit out a kid for attention. And that's it. And you think just by shitting out a kid that that makes you a parent? No! It just makes you like every other fucking mammal, much like the one that got a bullet to the brain! You're no different! You're no different in that aspect. What makes you different is actually being parental, you fucking idiots! Jesus! Fuck! All you have to do is actually take care of your kid, but no, you, you want society to fucking raise your kid. You want TV to raise your kid. We have the FCC because parents didn't want to actually regulate what their children watched on TV. They wanted the government to do it. You fucking idiots. Jesus fuck Christ. What the hell? You, you, you'd have absolutely no idea what the fuck it means to actually be a parent. So few of you 
bastards and bitches and dumbasses even do anymore. And hell, there are even some that are older. Older than the demographic I just gave. You know, those ones that get banged when they were 16 because they were a slut in high school. Or the fucking asshole that doesn't know how to use a goddamn condom or can tell when he's about to come and just won't pull out. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, it'll be fine. I'll be there forever, baby. Who are you again? The gorilla is dead primarily because a parent refused to be parental. And the kid was never raised right. Period. End of discussion. The zookeepers and the security, whatever, they were doing what they could as quickly as they could to save a child's life. Anybody who's blaming the kid, you're kind of right, but for the most part, you're an idiot. Because while the kid should not have climbed in, the mother should have been paying attention. The mother should have said a long time ago, do not go into the fucking gorilla pit because you could die! You would think that would be enough. Billy, don't go in there, because if you do, that silverback's gonna rip your fucking head off and shove up your ass! You'd think Billy would get it. You'd think Billy would be like, okay, okay, alright, I get it. Can we go see the giraffes instead? It's just... The, the, the polarizing opposites of people who want to defend uh, the gorilla and persecute the humans and the people who want to persecute the, the zoo staff, the, you're, you're goddamn, you have no fucking idea what the hell you're talking about. The child was in danger whether or not the gorilla was protecting it because the gorilla was still handling the child like it would another baby gorilla. And we aren't built for that. We get hurt when they do that. So yes, while I do think that the security probably had a very powerful tranquilizer, I probably would have dropped the ape in a couple of seconds. They did what they did. You can't undo it. Shut the fuck up. Stop going after them. They did what they had to do to save a little boy's life. But, for those of you who want to persecute the humans, PERSECUTE THE MOTHER! Because the bitch wasn't paying attention. She wasn't actually trying to take care of her kid. She thought everybody else would do it for her. It's one of the reasons we have that shit code Adam, okay? You want to know why? Yeah. Everybody knows that it was a one, I don't know, he was fucking hosting America's Most Wanted or whatever. And, and it was because his child got abducted and all of that. Yeah, that was put into motion. But you want to know something? You want to know what would have, you know, saved a hell of a lot of trouble? And I'm just going to fucking say it. If you've been watching your goddamn kid in the first place! Or whoever the hell was actually responsible for the child at the time! Now you want other people to take care of your damn kid because you don't want to actually watch the child! It's your fucking fault! It's not society! It's not my fault! It's your fault! It's your kid! You're supposed to be parental! God damn it! So, in conclusion, the gorilla was the least at fault for what happened. It was acting specifically on its own instincts because it has no rationale beyond it. But we as people, we choose it! We choose to be retarded! We choose to be stupid! We choose to let society and the government raise our kids. TV and the internet, that's supposed to raise our children. No, you are! You're supposed to be watching them. You're supposed to be fucking taking care of them, you morons! So start doing it! I digress. <laughs> if parents would actually watch their kids like they used to, it used to be that even when it was the safest of times, if children are playing out in their front yard or in the street with neighbor kids, there's usually a parent or two watching them because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be raising them. You're supposed to be teaching them the guidelines of life. And it's through you that they will either be beneficial members of society or they'll just be another fucking human that isn't worth the shit that they produce!
people, start taking fucking responsibility for your actions and for your children. It's not as hard as it sounds, but Jesus Christ, I know a good handful of people that do nothing but sit at home all fucking day. They have no goddamn job. They have no fucking responsibility. They have like six or seven fucking kids. And they think that just having the kids means I'm a good parent. I had a kid. I'm a good parent. No, you're a piece of shit because you're not actually teaching them or raising them or doing anything. Start doing shit correctly. Okay? Really, it's right there. As if anything, it should be common knowledge. There's an old expression of common sense. Well, that doesn't really exist anymore. And I think I've said this before, but if it was common sense, it'd be more common. But it's not. So, thank you very much for listening to me bitch and moan about what happened at a goddamn zoo in another state and town to a gorilla, a dumb bitch, and some kid who was never taught any better. I do hope that you will start to realize who's really at fault. Stop picking and choosing. There's really one person to blame because had this person taken care of their kids, none of it would have happened. Everything else was the aftermath of it. Period. Bottom line, we're done here. This has been another fun-filled adventure into foaming at the mall, and I hope down the road you will all join me when we burn it down! Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that last video. And if you did, maybe you should click over here, and it'll take you to one of my many other videos for other entertainment. Or if you'd like, you can click right here to subscribe.